So today I'll be discussing Ronnie Coleman versus Kevin Lavroni at the 1998 Night of Champions when Ronnie won, but Kevin also brought a great package on stage and truly presented himself as a worthy contender. These pictures are taken from MuscleTime.com and Ambal.ru. Let's get started. The front double biceps shows Ronnie's superiority in the biceps department. The peak in his biceps was insane. Both have wide shoulders and chest. But in my opinion, Kevin looks more aesthetic with his lat sweep and smaller waist. But as usual, Ronnie stumps when it comes to the sheer size and the muscular maturity he had in his prime. Another front double biceps pose with the late Mike Matarazzo, who was placed third. You can notice the sheer size Ronnie had over Kevin in the arms and the wheels departments, along with the overall conditioning. Yet, Kevin's lats were mind-blowing and his aesthetics were top-notch that night. The front lat spread shows the width and the thickness Ronnie had in his lats. You can see the size of his chest and wheels in comparison to those of Kevin. Kevin, however, was known for having incredibly huge shoulders and arms in his prime. Both had great conditioning with striations in their chest, shoulders and wheels. Both used to hit an incredible side chest pose. Roni, however, looks better conditioned and more ripped in this pose. His chest is pumped, rounded and striated. His arms look incredible and his midsection is tight. His wheels are huge and highly conditioned. Kevin, on the other hand, was known for having among the greatest shoulders in bodybuilding history. His arms are huge, but his chest is not as pumped nor as striated as that of Roni in this pose. His midsection, however, was tight and aesthetic, and his wheels look huge and ripped. Kevin used to hit an impressive side triceps pose, contrary to Roni, whose side triceps was among the least impressive, because his triceps in this pose didn't show well. In this pose, we can see the level of conditioning they both had, with the aesthetics in Kevin's physique presented in his massive shoulders, wide chest, and tiny waist. Another side chest pose with Mike Matarazzo this time, shows the width and the sheer size Kevin had in his shoulders, arms, and chest. His waist was small, ripped, and highly aesthetic, with visible obliques. The back double biceps shows Roni's superiority. His back was wider in this pose and way more developed than that of Kevin, especially the lower back department. Roni's glutes and hamstrings were highly ripped and conditioned. The peak in his biceps shows in this pose in comparison to Kevin, who lacked this distinguished peak in his biceps. Kevin also had highly developed glutes and hamstrings, but in my opinion, not on the same level of Roni's hamstrings. Unfortunately, no lat spread nor abs and thighs poses are available from this contest. Both used to hit an incredible most muscular pose. Very few could match Kevin in this pose when it comes to his explosive shoulders and this is no surprise as he arguably had among the greatest shoulders in bodybuilding history. Roni's chest, however, is almost double the size of that of Kevin. Roni's conditioning was incredible with all the striations in his shoulders, chest and arms. The pump in his biceps was insane, although Kevin had great wheels, but Roni's wheels were on another level. Another most muscular pose in which Kevin shows his awesome shoulders, but this pose also shows the sheer size and the incredible conditioning Grony had in his chest with all these striations. Both had huge arms, but the peak in Roni's biceps was unmatched. A crab most muscular pose shows the sheer size in Kevin's shoulders and arms. Roni also hits a great pose 
while staring at his striated chest and incredible biceps. So overall, Roni rightfully won the contest against a worthy contender. Kevin brought an incredible physique and tried his best to defeat an unbeatable Roni Coleman. That was all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.